All right, so I thought I'd give you an update on the African cichlid tank. Um, I've added a bunch of new fish since the last update that I did. And um, I'm really digging what I what I ended up purchasing, and I, I think I have a real good mix in this Mambuda tank. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll, I'll show you what I've got. Um, if you're new to this channel, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd uh, subscribe if you like what you see. Hit that subscribe button, hit the... Uh, reminder bell next to it and uh, leave me a comment below as well. Uh, if you're looking for fish food and that type of thing, check out my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. Uh, we're the exclusive online retailer for uh, bulk Southern Delight fish food, all um, the different uh, flavors, power feed, large cichlid, small cichlid, tropical, koi, goldfish, veggie krill, all of them. Um, so check that out. Um, if you're looking for a new fish food, um, you know, why not give Southern Delight a try? It's a, it's a food that um, has been tried and true for a lot of top-notch breeders over the years and top-notch fish keepers and uh, something that I've used now for quite a while. And I've been lucky enough to be able to sell it. So um, at any rate, stay tuned. I'll show you the tank and kind of give you guys an update. All right, well, here's the tank. As you can see, there's quite a bit more uh, fish in here than the last time that we uh, did a video. Um, I placed an order with Quinn's Fins. Uh, they came highly recommended from one of my old buddies, uh, Scott, a uh, cyber aquarist. Doesn't really make YouTube videos anymore, but he's got a lot of good information on his channel. So if you are um, looking for a great channel with uh, some great stuff, go check out a Cyber Aquarius on YouTube. You won't be disappointed. Maybe if he gets some more viewers, it'll get him to make some more videos. But um, at any rate, um, as you can see, I've got quite a few more Mabuna in the tank now. Um, I added roughly 20 some fish to what I already had. And um, so if you, if you didn't see the last video, what I started out with were the uh, electric yellows, the powder blues, and the Misoba deep. And I'm gonna pull the list up as you're kind of looking. They're a little skittish as you can see when I move. This tank's in my office, by the way. And um, so it's where I sit when I work. I work from home for my normal job. And, uh, and uh, it's nice to be able to check this tank out. This is the tank that Cheeto used to be in. If you're a follower of my channel, you know Cheeto, my, my red Midas, or my, uh, I was gonna say red Midas, my Midas Amphilophus citronellus uh, fish that uh, pretty well known uh, for being a, a, nice, a nice looking fish. At any rate, um, so, um, I thought I'd take you through the list of what I ordered and uh, what I've got in the tank now. Um, what I did is I went with the medium sizing, uh, that's two to three inches, and I, I wish they were a little bit bigger, but if I would have done the large, then you're looking at three to four, and some they might have been quite a bit bigger and basically doubles in price, uh, or close to doubles per fish. So um some of the fish that i already had were a little bit bigger than what these are but there hasn't been any problems yet so i'm not too worried about it and i'm, I'm glad uh glad uh, that i did what i did um <coughs> excuse me um i'm real happy too with with the the, the way the fish turned out um because of the size of my order the shipping was not expensive at all and it was fedex overnight so I placed the order, or from, well, there was a few days from when I placed the order to when they actually shipped, which is uh, a good thing when you're ordering fish because you want uh, want them to purge the fish so that there's less waste in the bags. They were each bagged, uh, one fish per bag, and none of them died, no DOAs, so that's a good thing, especially when you order 20, I think it was close to 25 fish. I'll just go down the list and tell you what I got. Uh, I got <clears throat> four albino redfin zebras. Um, I got two Takaris. Uh, I got three Demasoni or Demasani, however you pronounce it. Uh, I grabbed two green Afras, three Hongis, uh, two pearl mutts, uh, six red zebras, two Rusties, three white labs. 
and two uh, yellowfin lab mabambas, I believe that's how it's pronounced. A lot of these are gonna really sh be showing better when, when they grow, but uh, already a lot of them have really nice color. Um, I'm kind of staying away from the tank and um, so that these guys stay out and don't get real skittish on me. Um, and I'm just kind of got the camera zoomed in. <clears throat> but I would like to try to get a little bit closer. Um, if you didn't see my last video also, I uh, wanted to just kind of talk about this one more time. Is uh, One thing I really wanted to do when I got back into African cichlids is uh, get a 3D background. And this background is from uh, I'm blanking out. Universal Rocks, sorry, out of Texas. <clears throat> um, and they do quality work for sure. <clears throat> you can see it looks real nice. Um, I, I wanted to wrap around the one side. As you can see, the left side has a 3D background on it. And then I also added to my order four of these uh, rocks. <clears throat> now this is the Malawi background and those are Malawi rocks. And then I went with the Carib Sea uh, white sand. And I'm really happy with how it looks for sure. Um, what I did too is I took, um, and there was enough room <coughs> behind the background to where I could put the filter intake and my heaters back there so that the only thing that I you see in the tank is the uh, outlets for the two marine land filters. And in order to do that, I drilled some, made some holes and you can see one right there and I put some, uh, some uh, stainless steel wire mesh there and uh, there's several of them throughout the background and uh, that allows the water to get back there. I'm gonna try to move a little closer. You can see they get skittish, but <clears throat> we'll see if they come out eventually. The closer you get with these guys, the, uh, the nicer that they do look or the better you can see their coloration and stuff like that. Yeah, I like to hide behind this big rock here. Got like three of the powder blues are holding and I think one of the yellow labs or electric yellows are holding. I don't expect any, <laughs> they just freak out. I'll move back a little and see if that helps, but <clears throat> every time they get skittish and then pretty soon you see them peeking right in this area and then they all start to kind of head out. Um, you know, other than that, I guess I don't really have a ton to say about these fish um, other than I'm really enjoying them and it's fun to get back into Africans especially Mabuna for some reason I just had a real big hankering to uh, to have Mabuna um, over peacocks or haps which I've also done in the past um, if you go way back into my videos you can see my 125 gallon peacock and hap tank that was pretty nice I thought Yeah, other than that, um, I don't have a whole lot else to say. Um, again, if you're new to this channel and you like what you see here, um, you know, if you're into African cichlids, I'm gonna start doing regular updates on this tank. And, I, and like I said, I've got some old, old videos um, where when I used to keep African cichlids. But I also am big into South American cichlids. Uh, so if you're not familiar with my channel and you're into that, that type of thing, um, check out uh, my fish room tour videos where you can see my Souths and Centrals um, that I keep down in my basement fish room. If you're into salt water, I keep two reef tanks uh, out in the other room and uh, I do regular videos on those. And if you're into shrimp, dwarf shrimp, uh, freshwater shrimp, I keep those as well and I try to do regular updates on those. So check that out. 
And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're into uh, wanting to try some new fish food or if you just like Southern Delight, um, we do sell it at AquaticSupportSystems.com. Go check it out. Uh, really appreciate the website traffic and, and that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> several different uh, fish foods for basically any type of fish, uh, all the way from small tropical community fish to your big... Uh, monster fish and everything in between including salt water and fresh water and everything so give that a try uh, you won't be disappointed um, and if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, let me know which of these uh, Mabuna are your favorite and what you think maybe I should add to the tank I'm getting pretty full so I don't have much more room but let me know what you think about that um, and uh, hit that like button Liking and commenting on these videos really helps uh, grow my channel, which in turn helps grow the fish keeping hobby in general. Uh, the bigger the bigger channels get on YouTube, the more people get exposed to fish keeping, and it just it just benefits everybody. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and until next time, we'll catch you later.